Okay, so today we're out and about with Macasimo. We've rented these brilliant Ego electric bikes. You can look them up on Facebook, but they're a new company and they're based close by, so they're perfect for getting around the resort. You can go off to Portman, really, really explore. So we're going to give a little demonstration of these today. Go out and have a bit of fun. Thank That's you. That's for you. Thank you. So great guy called Steve. He'll deliver them to wherever you are, explain how they work. Um, we're led to believe they go pretty fast. Handy little tip, they fold in half right here. So you can pop them in the car and go wherever you want. Amazing. We're not going to do that no. today. No. <laughs> there's everything that you need in here. So there's a charger. I think they last a couple of days. Yeah. Should we get going? Let's go. Go Let's see this it. beautiful place. Let's do it. Don't leave me behind. I'll try not to. <laughs> I get excited. <laughs> Towards the hotel? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, Natalie. <laughs> Stop for a view. One of my favourite views. Yeah, lovely. How did you enjoy it? Yeah, really good. Much easier than normal cycling. Especially coming up a hill. Yeah. I think you can really feel the difference. You feel it kicks in, doesn't it? And then you're like, wow, this is easy. I think one of the key things as well is if you stop pedalling, the electric just stops straight away. Yeah. So it's quite a nice safety aspect when you're kind of approaching roundabouts and things like that. Yeah. And it's still a bit of work. People think it's cheating, but I definitely don't feel that way. I but, feel like I'm working out. But I think if you were to go on long distances as well, you're going to be able to go a lot further on these than a normal bike. Because especially if you're not at the peak fitness yeah. and you're in Spain in the summer, a normal bike is a bit of a slog, but with this, you feel like, all oh, right, yeah, let's go, let's just... Well, a lot of people get put off cycling here because there's the hills back up. This just gives you that nice little oomph to get back up the hill. Yeah. And then we can stop, admire the beautiful golf courses of La Manga. Yeah. And on a clear day like today, look, you can see right out to La Manga Strip. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful place to be riding around. So nice. Should we head up there? Yeah. Test a hill? Up. Let's test a hill and another view. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to earn a drink. <laughs> Got a safety safety first. <laughs> oh, God! View. Lovely. We've successfully managed to go from the centre of La Manga Club, right where the office is in mm -hmm. Las Sabinas, uh, which is the heart of it, down to the hotel and then all the way up to the north side where the view look in that direction. It's incredible. It's amazing. You can see the, the size of La Manga Club and all the different communities from here, it's amazing. It's beautiful. And as well, like, I don't think that our fitness is that bad. You might have got up there on a normal <laughs> bike, but there is absolutely no way I would have got up that hill on a normal bike. No, I don't think I would have. No. No chance. And you've got to work it. You're still cycling, but to just yeah. be able to click up those electric gears and get up and have this view, it's beautiful. I think of it like, you know, when you've, if you've ever done spinning at the gym, which I did once, yeah, I've done and I'd never ever do it again. No. But it's like when you do that, in an easy mode yeah so you still feel it a little bit and yeah. it's still good exercise but well steve from ego who's rented us the bikes he told me it's like getting a push right so you start Makes off sense. on number one and you kind of feel that push don't you and then when you come up a hill like this you can just do what you need yeah you know we both have moments where we slowed down but 
It's lovely up here. We've got a beautiful apartment for sale right in here, by the way. <laughs> so we do. Terrassa del Cotto. Yeah, and I nice. think it will be really good, you know, for kids to be able to come on holiday as well and get around in a safe way. Definitely. Where the parents aren't dropping them off. They don't need to go through that, you're not allowed to rent a golf buggy yeah. here kind of situation. And they can go have fun. But we've done good. I think my, my, my little brother, Finn, your son, <laughs> 15 year old he's had the time of his life on I it know. hasn't he so i don't think he's ever explored that much since he's lived here it's for proper like summer five, holiday years. exploring he's got his buddy felix here they've been down to portman they've been up here they've been down to la cala to the beach to every single part we haven't had to give them a lift Amazing. no moaning <laughs> yeah have a glass of vino at lunch then <laughs> perfect talking of which should we go and get a drink yeah please <laughs> come on We are, so as safe as it is around here, you still got to protect the bikes, lock them up. Okay, excellent, now for a drink. Love this place as well. Los Molinas Pool Bar. Ooh. Well deserved. Yeah, very well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> and parched. Although that yeah, looks that's, very inviting. Looks so, it looks, so inviting you could just jump over the wall, which I don't recommend. On their holidays, or people that have been Los Molinos yeah. get to enjoy that pool. Yeah. So, cold drink. Please. I know they've won, is it the fourth year in yeah. a row, the Ruta de Tapas For Ruta de Tapas. So, Ruta de Tapas, the, a few different towns out and about. I think it starts in Playa Honda, moves through to Los Balones, yeah. and a few people on club take part as well. Yeah. And I think four times now they've won it, which is incredible. And I think for the first time, La Manga Club have done their own one, and they won that too. Amazing. But they deserve it. The tapas yeah. here is absolutely amazing. People come back here time and time again. It's certainly one of my favourites. It always looks perfect when you see it in the display counter there as well. Always looks so good. Perfect. This is not the San Martin Puna. Okay. This is the one who won the first competition. Oh, amazing. Okay. And we've been fast with the... Fantastic. Yeah, this is the original winner. The original amazing. winner. The Thanks first so one. Thanks so much. Thank you. Let's try it. Right, so he recommended eating in one piece. I'm going to go for that one with the crispy bacon. Straight in. Yeah. Oh. Right, all in one go. All in one go. Ready, steady. Mm. Mm. Just fantastic, isn't mm. it? You can see why they win every time. Melts in your mouth. So mm. that's a scallop with crispy pancetta. Mm. What's that, babe? Is that like a foie? Yeah, it looks like it. It tastes like that's it. It's incredible. Absolutely. It's like it's chopped with a bit of chai as well. The sauce is amazing. Wow. And this is the. Uh, the pura salmon? Yeah. With uh, grapefruit and lemon and crispy sweet potato. Incredible. Oh. This is a dill sauce, yeah? Oh, and yes. Is this the most recent winner? Is this the winner this year? Yeah. This is the winner this year. Yeah. Amazing. Wow, it's like so a piece of art. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Thank it, you, Roberto. It's so fresh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not sure we can do that one in one go. <laughs> Right, go on, you go first, <laughs> yeah. pick yours. Oh no. So I'm going to have to come back for them. Go back for a second yeah, time. Yeah, some of that. Of Perfect. Season to perfection. Okay, That's so nice. Have it with the fruit a little bit as well. Get one of your five Great, a day. Grapefruit as well when it's uh, the summer and it's hot. It's just the best. I'm going to get that grapefruit. And what's that, did he say? Crispy sweet potato. Crispy sweet potato. And it's like a dill sauce, which mm. with salmon's always a always a winner. 
Yeah, it's so good. That is delicious. Mm. Yeah, combine, combine with the fruit as well. A worthy winner. Mm -hmm. Bring on the next one. <laughs> so, summarise what we've done. We've, um, we've travelled the length and breadth of La Manga Club. <laughs> it was a brilliant, really brilliant morning. And I think, you know, if we wanted to, we could have gone much, much further. You know, we yeah. could really, really explore them. So I think it's a really brilliant way for people to get out and about on their holiday, for have sure. a bit of a fun day. Yeah. I mean, Steve from Eagle will give you all of the information. They come with leaflets of how to work them, how to do everything. We can link all of the information to his Facebook. Amazing. So get in contact with Steve and have a brilliant day. It's pretty simple. We managed okay, so... <laughs> We've got to get back. It's we haven't enough. completed it yet. <laughs> Task not completed, but Nearly we'll get enough. back to the office and... Uh, after we've been, yeah, refreshed in our favourite place. And had some of the best tapas in the whole, whole of Mercia. Fantastic. Amazing. Right. Let's, let's do it. Ready to head off? Yeah.